go Emma. It's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Am I aware that this video probably should be like a 2015 video? Yes, I am aware of that. Am I aware it's 2020 and people don't really do videos like this anymore? Yes, I am aware of it. Am I still gonna do it? Yes, I am. I'm gonna come back, bring it back. Let's get in trending. Let's get it started with a good old fashioned uh, what I got for my birthday video. Let me know if you want to see what I get for Christmas. <laughs> um, my name's Emma. If you're new to this channel, uh, welcome. Oh, the sweet that's glass. It's got to be careful. Um, my name's Emma. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe for hauls and vlogs and all sorts of things. I am um, from England and I currently am in a part of England which has quite strict restrictions. So there's not really much we can do. We can go to the shops. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I thought I'd do a video, something a little bit different. Let's mix it up a little bit. And um, do you know what? It's just something fun to film because it's my birthday today and I can't really go anywhere. So I just thought I'd speak to you. So, right, what I got for my birthday, I was very lucky. Um, I have been spoiled by my family and friends. And I love what I got for my birthday videos because it just shows you what the people really like like my friends and family know me the best and if they're buying me presents it shows you lot what's the kind of things i like and the kind of things that i would recommend so i'm going to start with two things one's there um have i moved that glass in one's there and one's now these are slightly untraditional what i got for my birthdays but they made my heart warm so i opened a present for my mom so it was wrapped up and in it was um a little pot of sleepy which i cannot recommend sleepy highly enough if you struggle with sleep i absolutely adore it it's lavender but it, it smells like it's almost like cakey it's absolutely lovely so she got me some sleepy i also got a beauty sleep face and body mask which i've never had before let me smell that. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's, I don't know what smell that is. It's a bit more florally. So you have a bath and you put that on and to relax in the bath. So there are definitely some things that I would love because I have struggled with my sleep a bit. And so I've been doing things to kind of try and not to struggle with my sleep so much so um having baths using sleepy uh putting my phone down i've started a gratitude kind of um diary in the morning because i, I used to wake up and i feel quite anxious but so now i wake up and write down things i'm grateful for but then this was in the bag and i was like it's a ziploc bag and in it in kitchen roll for some unknown reason, no, I don't know why I spoke to her and she was like, it's so they didn't smash our two bath bombs. <laughs> Very small bath bombs. I, I don't, I'm gonna have a look because I'm not sure if this might be one of these bubble bar things, but there we go. That's what she did. She wrapped it in tissue, put it in Ziploc and I said, that really made me and the kids laugh and she said, well, that's good because I've done exactly the same with their Christmas presents. <laughs> so we shall have another laugh on Christmas Day. Um, some other lush stuff I got actually got from Stephen. Oh, I should talk about the other present then. But uh, I got a box of uh, Merry Christmas from Stephen with Jingle Bells, Luxury Lush Pud, Shoot for the Stars and Golden Wonder. So that'll be really nice. That'll keep me going in the next few weeks with some baths because you know I absolutely love a Beth bomb. But the other kind of special thing that I was bought... Erin made me a pad. Um, oh, and now it's making me realise why well, she came in last night. And she's like, Mummy, what kind of foods do you like off these stickers? She put food says Emma. And then she just, just listen to this for a minute. Things I like about my mummy. Your hugs and kisses. We have a lot in common. You have a great sense of style. Why, thank you. You're good at your job. You love me and Ethan and Daddy. You like the same food as me. You get me and Ethan nice things. You say you love me a lot. We have fun. You make me laugh. We love matching clothes. Facts. We both love headbands. Double facts. 
Um, we have close birthdays. That's also a fact. Uh, you are clever and you are creative. This is, do you know what? This is actually going to go next to my, gratitude, my um, gratitude diary. So when I wake up in the morning, if I'm feeling anxious, I can read that and I can write in my diary. Oh, love, love, love. What a beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, so some other smelly things I got. Stephen got me um, a couple of candy cane philosophy um, shower gels. And what I think I will probably do is I will probably put one away the next festive season. So next November I can have one of these because I'm not going to be able to get through two in a month. But that was lovely. I love philosophy stuff. Philosophy have great, like, um, it's shampoo shower gel and bubble bath it's like a three in one it's really good there are you can get them in the sale sometimes for about 12.50 and they're really 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 nice and when i was younger and i worked in pr like for me uh, when i was like 22 this would have been a holy grail thing that i saved up for so i'm so thankful that i get to have them as presents now my mom also and i have no idea where she got this when she got this how she got this mulled wine bath crumble so that'll be, it does smell really nice. That'll be nice to have a little bath in. I presume maybe she got that from Boots, I don't know. There's sweet berries and oranges and a, wall and a cup of warm spices. Contains nuts. Well, there you go. It's bath crumble, that's strange, isn't it? I got two candles from, um, I think I asked for this one and this is vanilla French toast which is a really nice one if you follow my instagram you will know that i make cinnamon buns on a saturday and i like to light like a candle that's like a cakey candle so vanilla french toast is a great a great addition i think i've already got one actually but you can never have too many candles she also got me this one which i have didn't ask for but smells delightful it's called unicorn dreams and it remind oh I don't know what is this what I don't know what this is supposed to be. The smells like but it's it's very sweet. And this is a home inspirations one, so I'm presuming this may be from Asda or a supermarket. But good choice, Mum. Um my lovely friend Kate, who's one of my oldest friends, we went to school together, so I've known her since I was eleven and um Maisie might be watching this video so hello Maisie Maisie and my little girl are really good friends she got me you know I love a Gnome she got me two Gnome or got gonk they're called tea towels from next she also got me an oven glove I I've really struggled to find a nice Christmas oven glove first of all probs but look so I'll put those away in a bit and also me and the kids were like oh this is a Christmas cookie and it is so nice candle smell it smell it anything that's sweet cookies cakes any scents like that i adore them okay what should we want to now oh my friend sheila these have just arrived in the post got me some daisy like real snuggly slipper socks so these would be fab to wear around the house because we're staying in quite a lot at the moment we're going to be staying in a lot over christmas so these are really cozy thanks so much sheila Oh, mum also got me lots of cosy socks, bed socks. I'm going to say something now. Some of you in the comments are going to be disgusted. Sleeping socks. Bam, bam, bam. Even in the summer, sleeping a sock. Uh, so, like, I put them on for bed and then I just wear them in bed and then I take, it's not like I wear socks all day and then wear them in bed. Um, so she bought me two pairs. These look like they're from Matalan. Um, and I know that Erin will be sharing these with me. I've also got some normal socks and these are my favourite ever tights in the world and mum struggled to get them. So if you are looking for thick black tights that are really good, go up to your boobs. Um, Autograph Velvet Touch Looks Opaque Tights, 100 denier appearance. They are £9.50 but I have had some pairs for like three years and size up. So I'm a large and I get it in an extra large. They come up like up there so that's great loved that what else okay what a little oh i'm a huge number seven fan and i don't if mum's watching this i'm sure she'll leave in the comments i don't know if this was perhaps from last year or she got this recently 
but I got the number seven because we like to go to boot sale. I got the number seven big set. So it's got the day cream, the night cream. Um, it's got serum. It's got the primer, which is really, really good. Um, eye cream, lip care. These serum boost sheet masks are lovely, really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that's a nice set. But as I say, I'm not sure when she got it. Um, I presume it would have been on some sort of offer. It says £156.50 worth of stuff. Um, she wouldn't pay. Not sure how much she paid, but it wouldn't have been £156. Okay, so moving on to some other of my friends. My friend, um, lovely Jocelyn, got to me this Frano house. Emma and Stephen's house. Oh, how nice that. That will look so cute in the kitchen once we put all the christmas decorations away i'll be able to put all the like nice stuff up and also this which is inspired you put like your cocoa powder in you sprinkle it but it comes with um 16 and i think i do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add these for clearing 16 different little templates so you can put like a sun on it you could put um a smiley face you could put a, a maple leaf i'm not sure why you don't put a maple leaf moon what else have we got or oh, panda all different things how nice is that so i can make my own like because you know i like to make hot drinks and stuff i can sprinkle some of those of that cocoa powder on that's i loved it very very thoughtful and the little shaker to go with it for my hot cocoa stand <laughs> so cute oh Stephen also got me a really big and this mug i might even use this mug as a plant pot i really really like the spots and it comes with like a little tiny pot of marshmallows which would be really great for my hot um chocolate stations and a hot chocolate mix mix and a little whisk so i love that i don't know where it's from i'm imagining like this is bnm i was thinking saying this it's bnm my friend sarah bought me this mug she she loves she loves emma bridgewater to sarah and three years ago when i was 40 i currently was in copenhagen and i went to copenhagen last year and it is just one of them i just love it it is one of the most beautiful places so she got me the, the emma bridgewater copenhagen mug i just love it oh do you know what it might be quite nice for me to collect maybe i should get like the new york one as well um but yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, if you, if we can ever travel again, add Copenhagen to your list. And also, I love her so much. She loves TikTok. We both love TikTok, and she'd seen some woman in America who sold stickers. So she bought me some like plants and autumn stickers uh, for my 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 computer. <laughs> She's like, Cute. so she's like she, it was the woman on tiktok emma she she was viral i knew you that's so why i got the stickers for you that did make me giggle uh what else the last couple of things so i asked mum for this i wanted a propagating station so this isn't a crazy scientist thing this is where you do cut in some of your plants and let me know if you ever want me to do like a more in-depth kind of video on on this or maybe featuring a blog where you cut little bits from your plants and then you leave them in water and then once they've grown roots you take it out so they they grow in just water you don't need any soil you don't need any, it's like magic and they get all roots and then you take it out and then you um put them in soil and then you've got plants so she bought that so i can propagate some plants and just take it off and then and then every kind of few days you empty the water out put clear water in um so that'll look and also like it looks it looks really nice doesn't it uh steven got me these are the last two things steven you may have seen on instagram or on my like christmas ooh, christmas house tour that i am currently uh in the process long-term goal making a crazy christmas village that's what I want to do every year. I get a piece from Lamax, which you can get from the garden centre. You can get them online. And I've got three pieces at the moment. I've got the Cinnabon. I've got the tiny house, which Stephen bought last year. And I've got the Cookie Palace. 
my friend Jocelyn for Christmas, but she told me I could open it now, bought a horse and carriage and then Stephen. Look, he got me the Meringue Manor. So I've got another one. So I've got four now. I just love it. My aim is by the time my kids have kids. So if I had kids when I was 33, and let's imagine Erin has kids when she's 33. So that would be in like 24 years, if she has kids, but in 24 years. So I potentially then could have 28. Could potentially have 28 and have like a big room with a Christmas village in. I love it. And there's another thing that he bought me um, that he had made actually. And I'm gonna kind of show it like that. He had a map of where we've moved to, made um, with a heart where our house is and it says home is where the heart is. Um, and then the Conway family. And actually, he's, this frame's from B&M as well. And this proper matches. I'm very impressed. Um, and this will go again. Oh, it's a big fingerprint on it. This will go in our dining room because, like, it matches the colour of the smeg and everything once all the Christmas decorations are put away. So there. So if some of you out there are like, what kind of man would want to live with a woman who collects tiny villages and has too many plants? Stephen. Stephen is that kind of man. Because he buys me the bloody things. So there we go guys. A very chatty, vintage, retro, I'll be doing a what's in my bag next, who knows, uh, video. Just like, hey. You keeping me company on my birthday. Um, so that I'm thankful for. Um, I love you lots. I'll see you in another few days for a video. Um, let me know how you are in the comments. Let me know if you're any nearer to working out what you're doing for Christmas. Are you staying by yourself? Are you going to see family? What are you going to be doing? And I will see you for another upload really, really, really soon. Bye, guys.